I actually just saw this on Twitter and uh, it, it just it just made me, I don't know, it didn't make me angry. I just feel like this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen on the news. Uh, just take a listen to this. Santa has come under fire for his weight, with health experts arguing the jolly old man is setting a bad example. But calls for his unhealthy helpers to be replaced in shopping centres have been slammed. Maggie Rayworth explains. It's a busy time of year. Spare a thought, though, for frumpy Father Christmas. Working round the clock means no time for a jog. Santa Claus is being fat shamed. Overweight, overindulgence, being obese, it's not necessarily the message that we want to impart on our kids. Okay, there's, there's just so much. Like, I almost can't... It feels like satire to me. Um, I think, like... First of all, I uh, I just wanted to, if you've got children listening right now, maybe turn it off. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone that Santa is a fictional character. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, but, like, I, why, why is this, is this just, like, a fluff news story or is this legit? Because the idea that Santa being overweight is sending a bad message to children is is actually, like, hate the word, but it's super problematic in many ways because it's implying that, like, any overweight person, you know, we shouldn't be encouraging it and, and et cetera, like, that we should be judging them. And they actually are saying we shouldn't hire overweight old men to play a, a shopping centre Santa because it's setting a bad example for kids which is a ludicrous proposition, and we all know this. No one could legitimately think this. I am sorry, nobody, I repeat, nobody could legitimately think that this is a problem in any way. Saying only healthier-looking men should take the role in shopping centres, but Santa is happy in his own skin. That's all Santa. I think the image of Santa is a jolly man, and so I I think that's just what it is. Yeah, that guy's exactly right. It is what it is. What? We're going to suddenly have, like, Santa, like, lifting weights. We're going to have Santa Claus, I don't know, doing push-ups. He doesn't have time. He's busy making... Even in the canon of the Santa Claus law, he doesn't have time for that shit. He's way too busy. He's way too busy preparing presents with all the elves all year. Santa does not have time to be doing push-ups, going for runs, watching his weight. The man works around the clock to deliver presents for your children, all the children in the world, and you want him to watch his weight? Mate, I think Santa should finish up on Christmas Day. He finishes up and he goes home and he eats his brain out because he knows he now has to make billions of toys for next year, for the rest of the year. And he's definitely underpaid. Absolutely ridiculous for Santa. Instead of leaving just milk and cookie, maybe leave out a healthier alternative such as apples. Is this actually a joke? This is possibly one of the dumb... This guy says he's a health expert. Hey, mate, here's... Do you understand how weight gain occurs? It makes no difference if Santa is eating a billion cookies around the world or a billion slices of apple. It's calories in, calories out. It's not about the food. Okay, maybe there's more calories in a cookie than a slice of apple. But really, if you're eating at six billion houses, if you're eating at six billion houses on one night, a cookie from every house or a slice of apple from every... There's too many calories, mate. And and him eating apples, or it doesn't make a difference. What? You're going to put like a protein shake out for... Like, I just, I think this is the dumbest story I've ever seen. You know, Santa Claus, it, oh, oh, just hear this. You don't mind Santa being a bit fat? No, not really. I don't, I don't care. That's just how he is. Thank you. To the wisest person in this story happens to be like a 10-year-old boy who's like, no, I don't, I don't care if Santa's fat. One, because that's just how he is. But two, because he's a fictional character. So it makes no difference whether he's fat or thin. And the idea of a jolly old grandfather-esque man who brings presents to us every, every Christmas is quite a delightful and fun thought for a child to have. And it would actually possibly be creepier if he was a skinny, fit old man. So no, Santa should not be skinny. I swear to God, 
I swear to God, if in 20 years I have kids and and Santa's not allowed to be fat anymore, I, I'll cancel Christmas. There will be no Christmas. Either Santa is fat or there is no Christmas. There's no in-between. I don't even want him to lose weight. If I hear on the news next year that Santa's looking slimmer and he's lost 10 kilos and Mrs. Claus is really happy and they've gone on a couple's diet together, even though Mrs. Claus isn't traditionally drawn as fat. Well, really, you don't see much of Mrs. Claus. You really don't. I wonder what she does with her days. Does she help Santa? Anyway, it's it. you don't know. But I'm serious. If Santa, if Santa isn't fat, there is no Christmas. Sa- Santa being fat is actually the representation of what Christmas is, which is a day in which you splurge and eat as much food as possible with your family, right? You don't hold back. No part of you on Christmas Day goes, oh, maybe I should watch, maybe I should watch my intake. No. Christmas Day is the day that you go wild and you eat everything your nonna makes you for dinner. Every single thing. You do not hold back. You have soft drink. You have alcohol. You have desserts. You have fruit. You have coffee. You have every single thing. And you feel like shit after it. And you do that for Santa. That's why he's fat. It's because it makes you feel okay at the end of Christmas when you have eaten a shitload of food and you feel like shit. You go, well, Santa gets away with it. Why can't I? There you go. (sighs) Santa needs to be fat. 